Hey guys, how's it going? So, today I thought I would um, go ahead and share with you a set that I created for um, Qigong for depression. So, um, basically what this does is uh, Qigong is actually a energy discipline, an energetic um, discipline. And it basically uses the energy from within you. Well, so Qigong uses energy from externally, but in this practice that I'm teaching you, which is actually Neigong, um, the energy uh, is released from, from within you into your aura. And then after the practice, we ground ourselves bring back our energy into our body and ground it. So this practice, so, um, so yeah, uh, basically energy or, uh, emotions are basically energy and, uh, people, people describe it as energy and emotion, emotion. And so, um, or, you know, just, I'd, I just like to think of, of energy as, or of emotions as energy. Um, so yeah, this practice, uh, energy work will actually help to heal that energy, to help to uh, clear up any uh, emotional blocks, any energetic, um, energetic or emotional disharmony. It, it balances your emotions, it cleanses your emotions, it, um, it centers you, it, um, does all kinds of amazing things for you. So in this video, I will be teaching you those practices. So, um, let's talk about, so, yeah, so Qigong is basically an energetic work energy work, um, it works with energy, uh, bringing, so Qigong traditionally brings energy into the body, it heals the cells, it, it helps, uh, energize the cells, regenerate cell, cell growth, and, um, heal the body, basically, in all kinds of ways, um, and basically we're, we're, what we're doing, so it can, it can cause physical healing, but what we're doing is we are, um, healing emotionally. We are healing, um, uh, psychologically, which is our lower self, which is in our lower dantian. Um, this is the, the lower dantian is the psychological center of the body. This is where our our unconscious things are stored. Um, this is thing where our, uh, unconscious things are. So the things, the emotions and things that we are totally not aware of, uh, they're stored down here in the lower Dantian, in the navel center. So then I'll go ahead and explain the three Dantians for you. So we have the lower Dantian, which we just talked about. We have the middle dantian, or the heart center, and this is where the soul is. The soul is sitting in the heart center. And then we have, so this is, this is where we're trying to get you to operate from, because in, you know, in life, if you're not operating from your soul, you're going to be out of balance. You're going to be disharmonious, you're going to have, you know, emotional ups and downs, depression, anxiety, all kinds of things. But when you're living from your soul, those things tend to, tend to, like, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say that they go away completely, but they tend to just fade into the background, like, you might get that, get, like, depressed once in a while. Anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So, basically in these energetic practices, um, let me just actually finish. So, 
Um, talking about the three Dantian, so the soul is the middle Dantian, or the heart center, the middle Dantian. Uh, the, the upper Dantian is, is in your third eye, and the upper Dantian is your higher self. It's, you know, your, the higher aspects of you, which are different than your soul. Um, so the higher aspects, like, they are basically the ascended masters, the guides, the guardians, um, those kinds of things. And so, yeah, to, so in, so basically these energetic practices get these three selves, the higher self, the lower self, and the soul, they get them aligned and working in order, um, working to better, to, to heal yourself emotionally, um, physically, mentally, in all those ways. But they also, um, they also, um, align with the soul in order to fulfill the soul's desires on this earth. So doing this practice can also help you to be more connected with your soul, to, to live from your soul, to, um, to follow, well, as my teacher says, um, to follow your highest joy. So, um, so yeah, because that's, that's what the the soul wants. The soul is basically the state of orgasmic bliss, and it wants you to experience joy and go after joy. So whatever makes you joyful, and uh, you should go after that. Um, and I'm not talking about, um, you know, doing drugs or anything like that. That's not joy, that's avoiding your problems. Um, but doing things that actually bring you joy will, will help you greatly. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit about the three selves. And now I'll talk about um, Qigong. So Qigong, basically, well, this form of Qigong, um, it's taken from the Taoist tradition called um, Sheng Qi, which means the highest heavens, and it is a descending energy. So this will help you. Um, it's actually Neigong. So basically, the, the foundational principle behind this is that we are all microcosms of the universe. Uh, we, aren't, we aren't tiny creatures living in this enormous universe. We are microcosms of the cosmos. And so that's why I call it Cosmic Qigong, my, my new program that's coming out very soon. Um, Qigong program, actually it's Neigong. Um, but anyway, um, we are all co uh, microcosms of the universe, so we have infinite energy. All the energy that's in the universe is in us. And so by going within and releasing that latent energy that hasn't been tapped into, we, we release it and we bring it into our, our aura. And that's when we get to play with it and, you know, to do the qigong and and manipulate that and get that energy flowing throughout the mer meridians in our body and basically when we have a better energy flow in our body when energy is flowing nicely through our body um then we tend to um it basically heals our emotions it it um yeah, it heals our emotions, it, um, it gets, because remember, emotions are just energy, so it gets, by getting the energy physically moving in our body, um, it will get, it will release any emotional blocks, any emotional imbalances, 
any emotional traumas or, or any, anything like that, this will help you. I'm not saying that it will happen right away, but if you, um, the key thing in these practices is to stay consistent and to do them every single day, no matter what. So if you if you can only do, I, I made this practice a 15 minute practice that's pretty doable for everybody. But if you want to cut it down, or if you want to do just one exercise rather than another, uh, you can you can do that. You can mix mix and match. You can do whatever you want. So, um, but the key is to figure out what you can do every single day, um, and and do that. Okay. So, I think I have covered everything. So. Let me talk about the exercises that we're going to be doing, and we will get into them. Okay, so the first thing that I put, so this is a uh, Negong set that I created specifically to deal with depression. Um, first thing is hold the ball for three minutes. Go ahead and write this down. Hold the ball for three minutes. Thor's belt for three minutes, waterfall exercises for three minutes, uh, the whole breath for three minutes, and close down for three minutes. So, um, <clears throat> so let me just show you the holding the ball exercise, because that is... This is one of the simpler exercises, but it also, um, you know, if um, if you're having problems, you know, connecting to yourself. If basically, I I've I have experienced my fair share of this in my life too. But if you feel like kind of dead and nothing like nothing makes you happy, kind of thing, this would be a good exercise to do for that. Like, if you just can't get any joy, like, don't feel any joy in life, um, this is a good exercise because it'll help you tap into your heart center. And, um, basically the thing about the heart center is your, your soul is like this infinite, it's like this tiny, like, microscopic, infinite point of light, and it's within your heart center. And then that infinite point of light, because the soul is infinite, it needs to be surrounded and protected. Kind of like a, a black hole, you know? You can't just let, let a black hole loose in, like, near Earth or whatever, and or otherwise it'll, like, suck everything up, right? So we need to protect that soul from any um, anything that would mess with it basically so this would so this includes like emotional trauma things like that and so so yeah um any kind of like for example if if a soldier's on the on the battlefield and he sees his buddies getting killed left and right uh he's not going to go into his heart center and like weep and and whatever no he's going to like shove those feelings down and he's going to take care of the bad guy like kill the bad guys right so you know so that's what that's what um the heart center is meant to do it's meant to hold on to any kind of any trauma any emotional trauma and protect the soul from that until you're until like it's a convenient time to deal with those emotions but the thing is nobody really takes the time to deal with the emotions um yeah so so that's why we have all these age-related illnesses like heart disease diabetes things like that because all the all the energy surrounding the heart is taken up it can't go into the rest of the body and 
and heal it and and whatever if if it's like stuck with like protecting the soul from these uh these horrendous traumas and things that we've all gone through in our lives so yeah so so this uh an exercise um taps into the heart center and taps into that lightning energy surrounding your soul so for the holding the ball exercise all we do is we start and all of these exercises are seated so you don't need to worry about standing up or anything like that um these exercises are seated so basically we'll go ahead and um hold the ball so start off with your your hands on your knees and then just breathe uh, long, long and deep in and out through the nose okay and then we're going to take our hands and bring them up just like we're holding a ball at the heart center and then when we are at this heart center we can expand as we breathe in inhaling expanding and exhaling contracting the ball inhaling expanding exhaling contracting inhaling expanding exhaling condensing the ball okay so that's that's holding the ball and then we'll go into um i'll show you this other exercise we bring our hands down to the to the navel center and we basically it's it's just like holding the ball but it it's at the navel center so we expand on the inhale and contract on the exhale so inhaling expanding and exhaling contracting inhaling Exhaling, condensing that pull. Inhaling, and exhaling. Okay, so in and out. And what this does is it takes the energy from the soul that we created or cultivated while we were doing the holding the ball and it brings it down into the navel center remember the psychological center the unconscious mind all the deep psychological issues that we all have this is what this center is and so it brings the energy from the soul down into the navel center the unconscious the psychological center and so basically what this does is it gets your psyche more in alignment with your soul okay so we go from here to here um and then after this we do the waterfall qigong so then so for the waterfall qigong what this does is it brings the energy up to the to the higher self to the ascended masters the guardians the ancestors all that so we're taking the energy from we're basically taking our emotional energy to the higher self and we're the the higher self is basically empowering this energy it's empowering it and it's um, it's descending it to the soul and then the soul empowers it also and 
then it goes to the psychological center, the navel center, and then that, it it's basically empowering your whole energy body, basically. So, for the waterfall qigong, we go from the Thor's belt, and we just take it, inhale, and exhale. So we're bringing it into the third eye, and we're descending it, dropping it down the body. It's going down through the body to the navel center, and then we're just continuing to do that with all the energy in the body with all of the energy and the aura. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So, so that's the waterfall qigong. And it really is, I mean, that's why the, that's why it's called the waterfall qigong. Because we're taking the energy in like water and it's going in through the top of our head, down, nourishing all the cells in our body. And it's going down, taking all the toxic energy down into Mother Earth. And so when we do this, that's what that means. Uh, this is the Earth posture. So if you go here um, to patreon.com slash the shaman, I will teach you all the uh, postures for all the elements. So we have ether, uh, fire, earth, metal and water the five elements and so if you go there um i'll go ahead and teach you that stuff and i have some very high level uh qigong exercises and practices that you can do over on patreon so if you've gotten any value out of what i'm teaching here you can go there and and learn even higher level stuff so it's it's good stuff so let's go ahead and um i'll teach you the let's see what what is our next exercise in this in this set <coughs> oh the whole breath yeah so so now i'll teach you the whole breath and well the whole breath posture um just give me a second i need to grab some water so the whole breath posture this is actually a breath uh, or a um a posture for the earth so earth energy now what is earth energy earth energy centers you well first it ground it grounds you but it centers you energetically, it balances you energetically, it, it, it will heal you, um, it will heal, you know, cause healing in the body, um, not only physical healing, but also energetic and spiritual healing, you know, um, the earth, the, uh, the whole breath and the whole breath posture are really good, um, really good for for emotional and psychological healing. And so, if you do that, then if you do this this whole breath, um, it will heal you. So, basically, um, with the whole breath. Um, Let's just analyze those letters. That's H U L, okay? And and who? Um, well, H U U L, and what? And who uh, corresponds to 
mother Hulda in the Germanic tradition and um, and mother Hulda is an earth earth deity an earth goddess and so she um, it's said that whenever she you know she shakes out her bedspread um, um, she's Basically, the Germanic people would tell their children whenever it was snowing that mother that mother Hulda was was uh, was shaking out her bedspread, um, her her comforter. So, um, and what that means is that like it's this earth energy. So the this whole breath is earth energy but it's descending earth energy so it's it's like it's like snow or hail it's it's coming down from from the top of your head going down uh, it's, and the it's going down and it goes into the earth and there's this lake under the earth and that's where all your um it's it, this deep lake, that's where all your uh, unconscious emotions are and, and unconscious psychological patterns and programming and, and all of that stuff is. So it helps you to become more conscious and self-aware of all your unconscious emotional stuff that you have in your unconscious. So basically, let's show you this uh, who full breath and full posture. So we go from the uh, waterfall qigong, so we're going from this, and then we come to this. Um, when when you're doing the waterfall qigong, it's important that you make this uh, hand seal. This is called Quan Kung seal. And basically what we're doing is forming a triangle with the index fingers and the thumbs so that is like flat you should hold that flat at the navel center and then from there so we go from from the the waterfall qigong which is this and then we're doing that kwan kung seal all the way down and then we're coming into the whole breath posture and the whole breath posture is just this. We're having the hands flat, parallel with the ground, and our uh, elbows, our our shoulders should form a triangle. You see how a triangle is formed with both of my shoulders. It's like coming up, and then coming up, and then going down, like that. So and. The armpits should also be um, open, so you don't want to you don't want to do this with like this. It should be like this because that helps the energy flow um, from the body, from the heart center actually to the um, down the arm and to the to the palms of the hands, where it goes down into earth. And then it comes up through the feet and just, it goes, you know, in a, like circulates the energy through the body as well as grounding and balancing and stuff. So, okay, so we do that. And the whole breath is actually, um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the whole breath for you. Okay, so just relax. Okay, so it's whole. Okay, and then with the L, what you want to do is bring it uh, up, touch it, touch it, 
touch your tongue to the um, roof of the mouth just behind the teeth, so like that. So it, it might make like an R sound, but it's really an L sound, I found, so here it is once again. Okay. And you that really takes you into a trance state like it yeah. <laughs> It, it, uh, if you're ever looking for an out-of-body experience, <laughs> try doing that. Because <laughs> it just puts you in this, like, trance, like, altered state. It, it's crazy. So, it's really good stuff. And, um, you know, um, these exercises also, um, well, they... They release DMT from the brain, from the pineal gland, and so th this is a natural way to get high, basically. Um, it's, you know, if you do this every day, you will, you will get, um, like, really, really out of it, um, and that's from the DMT dump, so, um, which could also help your depression, so, uh, you know, these these energetic practices in and of themselves will 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 help you, but if but they also do cause a DMT dump from the pineal gland. So, um, so yeah, so that's another way to you know help you. Okay, so then after the whole breath, um, we do. So after the whole breath, we do um, the close down. So to close down, you just put your hands right over left and put them at your navel center. And you're just breathing in long and deep. And um, I want you to imagine the, that the energy in your aura is like, is like, forming a whirlpool right here. It's all getting sucked into the navel center. So that's uh so and then when you so when you breathe in, when you inhale, your belly goes out and that's like it's like taking in this energy. And then when you exhale, I want you to imagine that your your belly should be going in and um and just imagine it as compressing the energy so it's so it's you know being absorbed by uh the cells it's getting compressed into the cells it's um getting compressed into the organs and and the uh just imagine it as being absorbed into the organs and cells of your body um, especially the kidneys, um, if you focus on your kidneys, um, when doing this exercise, uh, I have, I, um, it'll, it'll definitely be helpful for you. Um, a lot of people have lower back issues and things like that, and, um, that's because they don't have enough of the water element, so doing the doing the uh, waterfall exercise will be good for you as well as you know focusing on those the kidneys as as you're closing down because you can actually intend the energy to go into the kidneys and and to heal them and that's um, that that's um, pretty critical so okay guys so and another thing, like, we we all need our kidneys to be healed because every time we, um, 
every time every time we drink a soda or coffee or any kind of caffeinated beverage we are putting caffeine into our system which actually it it drains the adrenal glands because it's telling the adrenal glands to produce more uh, adrenaline and more adrenaline and things like that and so it actually fatigues the the adrenal glands and they they get damaged so it's it's good to uh, focus on the kidneys and the adrenal glands as you are closing down so yeah and and also you know if you're if you're stressed if you're anxious those adrenal glands are are stressed out they are drained because you by by having this anxiety or this depression like you're you're basically stressing your adrenal glands out too so it's important to uh to to heal those okay guys so um so those are the exercises so now i will go ahead and um do the exercises so just once again um the exercises are the holding holding the ball for three minutes thor's belt for three minutes waterfall exercise for three minutes cool breath for three minutes and then the close down for three minutes and um if you if you um if you do any of these exercises um it's it's really important to close down it, it's it's a requirement so even if you do you know even if you do like one minute of the waterfall qigong thing um or one minute of the cool breath or one minute of the um thor's belt or whatever um any kind of exercise any kind of this this qigong that i teach it's really important that we close down because in closing down, what we're doing is we're absorbing the energy from around us, from, well, from our aura. And so since we've cultivated the energy, we've basically released the energy, re released the latent energy from within us. It's important to go ahead and return that energy to us and, and to, you know, get all the energy out of our aura and return it back into our body where it came from okay so um now we will go ahead and get started with the uh the set this qigong set oh yeah and before we do that i wanted to um go ahead and show you another exercise that you can do i'm not including it in this set but it's just another thing that you could do and this is actually a mudra. It's um, it's a mudra, and the it corresponds with the five elements. It uses the five fingers in the hands. Um, each finger corresponds to an element, so uses the five elements. And the what the five elements really are are they are they are um, emotions. They correspond to certain emotions. So, for example, fire would be anger. Earth would be sadness. Um, ether would be resentment. Things like that. Okay, so, um, and then water. The thing with water is water, um, water is trust. Because water is like, if you go through the progression of the elements, the water is the last, the last element before the earth. And so, basically what, what water is, is trust. And water also corresponds to money. And so, you'll find that people with kidney issues, people with lower back pain, um, 
things like that, they have money issues and they have kidney issues because kidneys are also the, the element that corresponds with water. Okay guys, so to, mo to learn more about the five elements and to learn more about um, the things that I teach, um, I encourage you to go ahead and sign up for my Patreon. It's, um, it's a really good deal that I have going on there. Uh, it's, uh, I would, I would charge $500 for that course that's up there. Um, and I'm giving it to you for 500, or for, <laughs> for, uh, 50, 55 bucks. So it's, it's pretty good. So, and then I have another course coming out that I'm going to, I'm going to be selling for even cheaper. It's going to be $35. So, there you go. That, that would be a, a $200 course that I'm selling for 35 bucks. So, there's some really good deals on there, guys. Um, and so if these practices end up helping you, then that, then that's, um, you should definitely check these these ones out because these are higher level practices. So, okay, guys. So let's get started with the um, with the set. Let me just review real quick. Okay, so go ahead and do this with me. Get be seated. Um, seated somewhere comfortable and you want your back straight but not too straight you know and you should the other thing that's important is that you're looking down at a 45 degree angle um this helps align the back of the neck it helps straighten the back of the neck and this helps facilitate the energy flow because there's going to be descending energy and descending energy goes down, down the spine, down the down the neck, and down the spine, into the lower spine, and down into the earth. So that's that's important that we have our neck kind of. I'm not asking you to like bend it like that, but like you know, just comfortably, just look down. You don't want to be like this or like this. You want to be like that. Okay, so let's get started with the practices. Um, first thing we're going to do is hold the ball. So let's get started with that. So remember, breathe in and out. Deeply in and out through the nose. Bring your hands to your heart center like you're holding a ball. Inhaling, expanding, exhaling, contracting, condensing. Inhaling, expanding, exhaling, condensing the ball. Inhaling, expanding the ball, and exhaling. Condensing the ball. You should feel the resistance in your hands. And different people experience different energy, di uh, different people experience energies differently. So there's no right or wrong way to feel this energy. Um, just let it happen. And the more that you open up your meridians, the more you'll feel, the more you'll feel the energy. Okay. 
to me it feels like a like a balloon you know when you when you squeeze it, it kind of bounces and then when you inhale it expands when you exhale you can feel it pushing against your hands You might feel tingly sensations in your hands, that's okay. Just remember, however you experience the energy, that's perfectly fine. So now we'll come into the waterfall qigong. So scooping up the, the energy. Inhaling, exhaling, down in Kwan Kun, seal, sealing in that energy. Scooping up the energy like water. Comes down the body, back getting sealed into the navel center. Scooping up, inhaling, splashing our face with the water, coming down into Kwan Kung Seal. Come up, splash your face, go down into Kwan Kung Seal. Inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, taking that energy in through the third eye, and exhaling, dropping it down the body into Kwan Kung Seal. Inhaling and exhaling. Fifteen seconds left. Really feel that energy washing over you like water. Okay. Now we come into the Hu breath.
15 more seconds. And we'll come into the Thor's belt. Actually, the Thor's belt should have gone after the um, the holding the ball. So we did a little bit out of order. That's okay. Doesn't really matter. So just inhale, expanding, exhale, condensing. Just keep going. Fifteen more seconds. Okay, we're going to scoop up, gather all that energy in the aura. Inhale and exhale, bringing it down into Kwan Kun seal, sealing in all that energy, then we'll come into closing posture, hands right over left over the navel, and just breathe long and deep through the nose. 
imagining the energy being sucked into the navel center like a vortex and the kidneys absorbing all that energy. As we're seated here, it's important to know that you should drink water after doing these exercises. It just helps flush all the toxins out of your body and uh, helps, helps heal the body, helps keep it healthy. And, you know, of, of course, um, you know, not drinking caffeine should be a priority. Um, not not smoking should be a priority. Um, not drinking alcohol or doing any other substances. You know, you, your body is a vehicle. You want to treat it right, treat it properly. And so, you know, you got to take care of it. So, just continuing to breathe long and deep, um, absorbing all that energy that we just raised. I can really feel a lot of, ener of energy um, in my head. So, um, if you have any lightheadedness or any energy stuck in your head, um, that's okay. Just um, you know, continue breathing long and deep. You don't want to like ex over overdo it. Like breathe like like all like heavy and just long, slow and deep. Slow and deep in and out through the nose. And then when we get done with this exercise, we can go ahead and take our hot palms, put them over our eyes. And just let the eyes absorb that energy. And then, this is especially important guys, so don't skip out on this step. Go ahead and massage your scalp, your whole scalp, everything, as much as possible. This is what I love about having short hair. I don't really have to worry about messing it up. Not that I care. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just massage your scalp. Get all that energy moving up there. And, um, you know, especially massage your neck and your shoulders. Back of your neck, your shoulders. Get the shoulder muscles. Okay, guys, massage your arms. Because you'll probably have a lot of energy stuck in your arms, too because we just sent it out the hands, so. It's important to get all that energy moving down to our navel center. Pat your chest. Yeah, massage. Okay, pat your stomach. And then rub your legs down. Massage the legs. Massage your feet. OK, 
Okay, so once you've worked your way down from your top of your head to your feet, um, so, uh, massaging the feet is really important. Um, it really helps to, um, you know, there's, there's meridians connected down here, down at your feet, so, um, massaging your feet will help the energy flow through all those meridians throughout your body. Um, another, another good place to massage is your, uh, your ears, um, because that's, um, that's another place that has a lot of meridians that connect to the whole body. So, we're just massaging the feet. Massage those toes too, because the toes also connect to the brain, I believe, and help help the brain, you know, um, function better. Massage, massage, and then we'll go ahead and go to the ears. This is super important that you massage the ears, guys. Um, because energy can get stuck in your ears too. And that's a place that not many people think about. Okay guys, so once we're done with that, um, then I guess that's about it. So we are done with the practice. So that was, you know, about a 15 to 20 minute practice. Uh, once again, the exercises were, hold on. The exercises were, um, the ball, and then Thor's belt, which we kind of messed up on that one. That's okay. Yeah. But it would be it would work best if you did holding the ball, and then Thor's belt, um, and then the waterfall qigong, the waterfall exercise, and then the whole breath. Remember, um, and then the close down, and so. Each of those is three minutes. Of course, you could go longer or you could go shorter. Um, if you found that this was too much energy for you, like if if you, uh, this is another thing. If you are lightheaded, um, when you when you stand up after doing these practices, if you're lightheaded, I want you to go ahead and sit down again and and do do the close down again. Remember, right over left. And then, and then do the self-massage again, and then stand up and see how you feel. Um, yeah, it's, it's important that we get the energy out of our head because it does no good there. It, we want the energy, all the energy to go down into our, um, our lower self, to our lower dantian, to our, uh, psychological, uh, center. Okay, so... Yeah, um, what else could I tell you? Um, here's another thing. Um, okay, so there was a, something I mentioned earlier that I forgot to do, which was show you guys this other, uh, it's a mudra, and it's a five element mudra. And basically what this will do is it will balance and center, like it will balance all the five elements. It will, it will, it will stimulate them and it will balance them. And it will also, um, cause like an energetic shield to be put up around your aura. Okay. So this is, um, it's a very powerful exercise and that is basically this. You just take your hands, put them together, and you see how I'm forming that triangle right there? Um, 
So you want that triangle, you want your arms, your elbows should be out, okay, comfortably of course, and you want this in front of your navel center, and what that does is this triangle, it basically, it, it uh, builds energy in the triangle, and then it connects it to your navel center, it basically takes elemental energy and puts it into your navel center and it also balances the elements so all the elements that we're all made up of uh, the five elements it balances them and centers them so and that's good because those elements correspond to emotions too so yeah so the posture is the posture is just this you're going to, um, I want you to, if you do this for three minutes, I want you to look down beneath, uh, between, look, look down at your hands, um, for the first minute, and then go ahead and close your eyes, or, like, shut, or you could have them slightly open, or whatever, or just, or just close them, and you might, you might see, just, like, just, like, imagine, you, like you're, it's like you're staring at your hands with your eyes closed kind of thing and you might see a, a pyramid with your with your hands but also you might see a five-pointed star and those the five points represent all the elements so just like this And also your arms form a triangle. See that? So not only my hands, but my arms are forming a triangle. And triangles, triangles are very important. Whenever you see a triangle, it's relating to the three selves. The higher self, the lower self, and the soul, the middle self. So, um... You know that that's that's what that's relating to okay guys so hope you enjoyed this I had to remake this video because it was my audio was messing up so <laughs> uh, yeah so what are you gonna do right so anyway um, leave any questions that you have for me down below and um, yeah I will try my best to answer them and if you want uh, any of this stuff like uh, the tra self transformation challenge you can go to patreon.com slash shaman okay if you want a Vedic astrology reading then you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com okay and we will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Take care and namaste.